Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Holly Holly, the aquatic director at the Rogue Valley Family YMCA. Good to see you. Thanks Thank for being you. here. So let's talk about, uh, we're talking about swimming, obviously, and, and safety. Um, so accidental drowning is the number one cause of death for kids one to five, correct? Yes. Okay, so what, big, big open-ended question, what should people know about this? So people should know and be prepared for being in the water. They need to think about layers of protection. All right, so not only do they need to think about swimming lessons, they need to think about watching their kids. It's most important that they pay attention the entire time that they're at the water. Um, people want to have a good time, so they, sometimes they forget. But it is the number one thing that they can do is watch their kids while they're in the water. And then there's other layers of protection. They can go into swimming lessons, life jackets. Those are all parts of protecting their kids and making them safe around the water. Okay, yeah, and I do want to ask about some of those things. So uh, you guys teach, I guess, infants how to swim. Uh, you know, we is, it ever, is there a time that's too soon to teach? <laughs> um, six months is when we like to start. Uh, we don't really teach them how to swim. Sure. We just teach them um, about being in the water. We teach them to be comfortable. So we do teach certain things to hopefully help them if something were to happen but basically it's water orientation for them. Okay, and, and what about, uh, we have, there's a lot of adults in this country who, mm -hmm. who don't know how to swim, but don't plan to learn. Um, I don't wanna, mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming they, you guys will teach them as well, but yes. um, mm -hmm. what, uh, what do you have to say to people who, who say, it's, don't worry about it, it's too late, I don't need to do that? So never too late, but if they choose not to learn how to swim, then their best, the best thing that they can do for themselves and their own safety is to wear a life jacket when they're around the water. Okay, um, you know, obviously a lot of people around here have pools, but rivers, lakes, you know, these are very popular things to do this time of year as, as the weather heats up. Uh, what, what should people know about either swimming or just playing in our local rivers? So rivers, know that they're, be aware that they're colder than you think, they're faster than you think, and wearing a life jacket when you're in the river, um, that's a good idea. If you're gonna do floating down the river, uh, kids should always have life jackets on. Um, it's Parents can provide um, a role models by wearing their own life jackets. Okay, and, and what about lakes? Are, are they as cold? Obviously, there's not much of a current. There. <laughs> They're cold too. Um, we have, you know, until the summer, you know, till we get further into the summer, lakes are still cold. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. I'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Holly Holly, the aquatic director at the Rogue Valley Family YMCA. Uh, so we talked about rivers, we talked about lakes, you know, we're talking about water safety, of course. Uh, boating, you know, what should people know if, if they're getting on a, on a boat, and I'm assuming one of our lakes or rivers? Life jackets, life jackets. Boating, life jackets. Fall off, you need to be prepared. Um, so I can't, that's your number one defense. Yeah, not, not a lot of time in an, in an accident to grab something. No, correct. and you're, most of the time, and water that you can't touch. Mm, okay, mm. Um, when, when we're talking about life jackets, there's kind of some rules, if you will, that people should be abiding. Yeah, so um, depending on the activity that you're doing, there are different life jackets for different activities. Skiing, um, regular boating, it just depends on what your activity is. Make sure that you have the proper life jacket and make sure it fits correctly. Okay, and, and uh, when it comes to safety, CPR, obviously something that uh, everyone's encouraged to learn. Um, I don't know how realistic that is for everybody to know, but what, what do you have to say about CPR? Um, CPR is a, one of those layers of protection for your kids. So if something, does bad, you know, something bad happens, you are prepared to help them. You can help them immediately. So it is a good thing for all parents to know. Um, it is relatively easy to learn. Okay, um, we, we talked about layers of protection uh, several times. Um, are, are people, are the people aren't required to necessarily have fencing or anything around a backyard pool, are they? So most places, yes, it depends. It varies from state to state. So mm -hmm. it's looking into your, your state laws, um, and it's, it is a, one of your best defenses for mm -hmm. um, your backyard pool and having it safe because if you don't have a fence around your pool, then that leaves access to anybody. So mm -hmm. fencing is pretty much a must. Okay, um, I'm, I'm curious, uh, ocean swimming. I mean, what should people know? We have some pretty cold ocean here in Southern Oregon, Northern California. Um, what should people know about if, if they venture on taking a dip out there? Um, 
it's a whole different ball game. Um, you've got waves that, um, that are bigger than you think. <laughs> it is cold. Um, you have currents, you have rip currents. Um, so you should be careful, yeah. very careful when you go around the water, especially with young children. It's easy for them to get knocked over and swept away. So um, once again, watch your kids. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much for doing this. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, stay with yeah. us. We'll be right back.